What up, dude? E, it's your boy, TK. TK RDS. I know y'all missed it. Y'all miss seeing my face. Y'all missed the dress. Y'all miss seeing the headband, all that good stuff. But we here. Because I'm finna give y'all the realest review on YouTube for the Baruto. So I am a lifelong Naruto fan. Y'all know that, right? And we followed the Baruto all the way to the goddamn end. We ain't skip no episodes. If y'all skip episodes, I don't fuck with you. I don't like people that skip episodes and try to speak on the anime. I don't like that. If you're gonna watch the anime, say, say yourself as a fan, watch that junk fully. If y'all wanna know what I'm doing right now, I'm just marking my, I'm marking the Baruto. It's complete. Of course, there is a part two. Part two is coming. I'm just making sure, I always make sure I mark my stuff complete. I make sure I got the correct date and everything like that. But yeah, Baruto, Naruto, Next Generations. You're just going to say, yeah, uh, yeah. I ain't going to I should say part one. I'm just saying that. I'm just going to say it like that. Um. So yeah, a total of 293 episodes. I watched it fully through. No skips. I don't do that. I don't like, like I say, I don't like skips. If you say, if you're a skippy person, I'm going to diss you. You're, you're being dissed. you like, I don't, I don't rock with you, the, the skippers. I don't wear no bitching and complaining about fillers, all that good stuff. Yes, yeah, so I don't keep my, this is not PG either. I'm not, not PG. But uh, yeah, Naruto, I mean, my bad, Naruto, Naruto Next Generations it is finally complete. It is March 26, yep, yeah, March 26, 2023. Just got done watching it. Well, well, well. A lot of developments, right? Towards the end on um, last uh, last week episode. Um, we learned a lot. I'm gonna try, I'm not gonna go through every single thing of the series, but I'm gonna keep it real and keep it honest. I am a like I said, long life Naruto fan, watched all the Naruto movies, watched all the OVAs, whatever you wanna say. In the course, Baruto. Baruto only had like the movie before the actual show started, and maybe they had the uh, they had the day Naruto became Hokage OVA type of thing. And I I am just a little bit up right now. Just the little uh, thing they kind of listed all the arcs. I'm not gonna talk about the arcs, but I am I there are parts I wanted to mention, so I made sure I kept it up on my laptop so I could talk about. It. So. I said 293 episodes. That's the total of my episodes for this portion of Baruto until we get the continuation. Um, so pretty much from what I remember, because I ain't gonna act like I know everything off the top of my head. That's why I got this thing here. So I'm pretty sure they started off pretty similar how Dragon Ball did their uh how they rolled into their movie storylines because if you watch Dragon Ball Super, uh, when Dragon Ball Super started, they kind of co continued off of the Boo stuff, like the aftermath, and then they slowly rolled into what happened in the movie, and they might have slightly altered things. They did that on the Baruto series as well. So of course we're gonna get the introductions. We learn about the characters, the the kids of uh, our known. Family from Baruto, I mean, maybe from Naruto. So we're learning about the characters, get introductions to them, all that good stuff. Then uh, we're seeing some parts of the season. We see in Sasuke. This is when they starting to get right into the movie stuff. We see in Sasuke doing some research because he's looking for traces of Kaguya. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna say last name because I always botch the name. I'm, I, I'll try to say it right now. Osuski. Probably said it right. Probably said it wrong. But Sasuke, he's searching for traces of her because they they are aware that there are uh, other people or are, are there, yeah, other people or traces of her. So he's trying to make sure that she's coming up with good because they don't want that. Uh, what's called the ten tails. Uh, yeah, the ten tails with the divine the fruit. They not they not they not trying to have to happen again. You don't know what I'm talking about? You guys didn't watch the Naruto Shippuden at the end of the season. Well, the, the last parts of Naruto when he was doing the Ninja War with all the reincarnated homies. We had some of the reincarnated homies. We got some of the reincarnated ops. Well, all of them was ops, but I say homies because we had Itachi. A little uh, nice moment there. Why am I bringing up that for? Let me not bring up that because I'm going to get emotional 
because southern parts on the Shippuigan, it got be emotional. And then we start seeing some of the beginning. So I'm not going to speak on all that, but a lot of stuff happened during then. And that's when we had the Kaguya and uh, the Deflying Fruit and all that stuff happening. So, uh, yeah, so Sasuke, he's searching for traces. He's trying to make sure, like, they're, they're, you don't have to worry about none of that happening again, pretty much. And if, when you watch the Baruto movie, Baruto movie came out before the actual series starts. So we see those two of the family that Sasuke ends up encountering, the Stanley Cherub and blah, 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 blah. Uh, the Chunin sounds is getting ready to start. We start to meet uh, some of the new, some of the other new castmates. We saw Gara's adopted son. I forgot his name. We haven't seen him in a while, but we saw him like at least a few other times during the season. Which he's pretty cool, and I like him. Bob guy's name. I saw. I can't. Actually, I could bring it up right now and probably tell his name. Bob guy's name, but I liked him. Uh, it's a girl from the same village. That I also like as well. That's part of his teammates. Team. I'm gonna bring up the characters right now so I can tell y'all their names. But yeah, we met. We met some cool new uh people from other villages. Like I said, uh, Garrison teammate. Yeah, I'm about to look this up because I want to know his name. Because I don't want to leave him out. He's pretty cool. He's a cool character. He got, he does a sand type jutsu. I think he is just a, like a black sand or something. I forgot. I'm looking at the page right now. They just showed one of his teammates, but I don't see Gara's son, Dr. Sun name. I'm trying to find them. It's showing me cold. How, why they showing me cold and everyone else at the top of the page? When they came all that in, they should have gave us some chronological war. Okay, but I can't find his name right now, and I'm this hell of characters that we can introduce to. I probably should have maybe put up some stuff to uh, what you call it, but I can search for it. I can indeed search for it. But yeah, we got introduced to the characters, things of that nature. We got just introduced to other Leaf Shinobi, like in Baruto's age range. That's going to be that's going to be a. Uh, a ninja as well and trying to have their own squads things of that nature i'm just i'm just google searching garris and so i can get his name because um uh, okay shiki my boy shiki yeah i see him there you go he's pretty cool i like him a lot so Sh shiki shinky uh he got a girl care that's in the squad that I was digging a lot and they kind of gave us like a tamari chikamaru moment with that girl character in Shikamotion, Shikamotion, which is his name is Shikadai. Um, I'm not going, if I try to talk about every single thing, this is thing going to be as long as hell. But anyway, we got that happening. So, like I said, introductions, then we kind of go into the Baruto movie, uh, stages, storyline. Um, there was a few different alternate things that happened. It didn't play out exactly how it did on the Baruto movie. But I wasn't like, uh, I wasn't like picky or disappoint with the changes but it was some noticeable changes on there um what else we got okay, i'm just gonna highlight the uh hey don't don't skip that's what i'm giving you the but don't mean i want you guys to skip uh so we met a nice couple of different groups of people i'm just gonna talk about this one and i'm gonna talk about another one and then i think i'm gonna kind of wrap it up because i don't want to spend the hour doing the long ass video so uh actually this this might have happened let me see looking at my this happened at this actually happened after the movie stuff so they had a field trip they went to the land of the mist right this is where uh haku wait his name, his name was haku right yeah really haku and uh abuza they went to their village pretty much. And we ended up meeting this character named Kago Kaguya, I believe, or Kagura. You know, meet him. He looked very like a very nice, promising character. Um, I believe he's like the grandson of one of the Kages of that land. And uh Baruto actually gets in some type of trouble because like their village is completely different from the Leaf Village. It's still like crime, um, it, the government is just not properly structured there, pretty much. So, uh, they end up running into someone that 
pretty much it's a kaguya is associated with and some conflicts happen a couple of fights blah 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 uh the end result uh the people that was angry kaguya got locked up i think kaguya got some time as well and then he ends up later on when we meet him again he's in up he's uh actually like a I don't think he got locked up, but I know he got some type of punishment, but he ends up becoming like a parole or officer there with something. He's like actually guarding the place that those people he was working with was locked up. I think one of them escaped, though, like the leader maybe, but we don't meet some cool characters with that group. Uh, Bhutan, her name, I like Bhutan a lot. I believe her name is Bhutan, but she hanging around with Kaguya. It's just another big guy and this other girl. I can't figure out what her name is, but she looks like a scary type looking character. And if you watch Naruto, if you've been watching it, you know a lot of people are disappointed. But actually, no, I'm not going to spoil it. But something happened to Kaguya and another person on his squad at a later point. No, man, let me just talk about it. So Kaguya ends up dying. And a lot of people was disappointed with that. And I ain't gonna lie. I was like, dang. Because I felt like they could have did way more growth. They could have did way more growth with the Kag with Kagura. I'm, I'm, just, I'm saying, I'm, about to, I'm mixing his name up with the freaking Os Oski. What are we pronouncing? I forgot their name, character. Ossuski. Um, but Kagura. My bad. Kagura is the guy that I'm talking about. Yeah. Let me try to find him. I'm gonna type in Kagura, it's easier than uh, searching it on freaking on the, the staff page. So Kagura, here, let me, let me find, let me show you. This is Kagura, him right here. He had so much potential that we could have, I would like to see, I would like to have saw him more on the upcoming Baruto uh later on whatever they're gonna call in the next part of baruto so there's so much potential there i think me and a lot of people that actually watches baruto feel like we really they could have kept him and he could have been like one of the next leaders or big figures in that world but yeah he's he is up dying because he ended up killing on that hold on no he didn't kill he injured he injured someone from this this crew, and I didn't even I didn't even talk about them yet. But they're called the Mujain Gang, I think. Is that them? Was that the right people? Uh, yeah, it is. It is Mujana. I think it's Mujana, but I think that's what they call it, right Mujana. Let me make sure I'm saying it right. And this is the right one. So I think. Let me see. They ain't showing no pictures with me. I think it's the Mujana. Let me see. I'm going to search it. Just to be sure. I don't want to get out wrong information. I got to make sure this is the right people. Okay, my bad. That's, I don't think that's them. That's not them. My bad. That's not them. But in the way, he ends up injuring the sister of this character that I'm going to talk about very shortly because... This character became Naruto's friend. He seemed like he was like a character that ran away from home, didn't really have no family except for his sister. That's all he told us, really. And he was like working to be like a shipmaker. He wanted to create boats and stuff of that nature. And if I could find his goddamn name, we're going to talk about it. But, uh,. Yeah, I'm just searching for it while I talk about it. So, anyway, he's not meeting this character. They become good friends. Um, Something happens. I think uh, the Land of the Mist, going back to that. So, the Kage of that village. I don't know his name. Sorry, I'm not I'm not going to pretend I'm a freaking encyclopedia for all the characters. But if y'all watched Naruto before, whoever that Kage was... During the Naruto, she had like an assistant with her, which is going, which was, which was going to be next in line. So if y'all know that guy, him, 
he became the Kage of that land, pretty much. He was also, like, very fond of, of uh, Kagura. I'm trying to find his name. I can't find his name right now. I'm about to just literally type in the name. I'm going to search it to find it. But, uh... Actually, they might have it right here. There we go. They made it way easier. So, here we go. If y'all ever watched the regular Naruto, you will see this guy under the, Hoka, the the Kage for that village. So, he is now the Kage in this time. Tojiro. There we go. Tojiro. So, yeah, him. Him and... It's this... It's this freaking... Like a... Like a crew or tribe whatever you want to call it so he had this guy in prison there at the place that kagura was working at and that was their father so he's in up someone something ends up happening and he's in, he ends up escaping and pretty much uh he starts to try to build back his uh crew tribe gang whatever you want to call it and him and chojiro was pretty much having like a little mini war and Baruto happens just to be, like, in the area of that time. So, Baruto's kind of trying to stop this from happening. Because, uh, if I could find the character, Tom do not know his goddamn name. And, yeah, I don't do scripts, y'all. We doing this right off the top of the goddamn dome. But, uh, whenever I find this picture on this freaking character list. There's so many characters we got in, in Baruto. But anyway, Sho Chojiro and the leader of that that crew game, whatever, they start to kind of like have conflict. They're trying to uh, pretty much blow up the Mist Village. And Baruto was like pretty much thinking like if he can talk to his friend that he now knows part of this this crew or gang or his family is associated he's associated with the family or whatever then he's hoping that he can have him stop this possible war from happening and by the way i found the girl character that i was talking about they had like a tamari moment with a shikadai this character right here yoda there she go but she's a uh, I gotta see more of her. I like Bhutan more. Oh, and then we met some other characters that I really would like to talk about, but that's gonna take way too long. I might have to do like a freaking podcast. I really had to do like a podcast to go in depth. Cause there's so many different characters that we met through this. But anyways, this is a long ass review. Should I make it shorter? I'm kind of feel like I should make a short ass review now. I'm talking way too much. Who gonna watch this whole video? I highly doubt it. Holy! All right, but we are gonna wrap it up. I'm I'm a, I'm trying to tell y'all piece by piece, bit by bit. That's just how freaking talkative I am about Baruto and uh, things of nature. I actually might scrap this maybe, or might make another version and post the short version and maybe have this like a bonus. Maybe who knows? Maybe not. I'm probably too lazy to redo all that. Cause I'm doing hella talking. But anyways, back to the arcs. So yeah, like I said, start off, introduce the characters, and after we got introduced to the characters, a little bit of Chuni exams, that's where the Os Osuski thing starts happening. They attack, uh, Baruto and the fighting, blah, 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 y'all know how that goes. Uh, after that, I was talking about the field trip. After the field trip, that's when Baruto encounters Kagura for the first time. Stuff happens, they end up selling the conflict there. Time goes by. Uh, we had some stuff with Miski. I'm looking at this build up point suit, but stuff with Miski. Uh, one of the big things that I was talking about was the thing when Baruto met that boy whose father was in prison there, and that's when they had a little conflicts there. Baruto trying to stop the conflicts going on there, try to possibly have peace. Um, then we kind of go back into the uh stuff with the karma, the karma. So the karma is pretty much the dot that you would see on his palm. It'll be in the middle of his palm. Baruto trying to figure out what it was. Uh, I believe he asks about it. And like again, 
I'm not a psychopath, y'all. I'm not a psychopath. But he asked about it. They started to think, uh, doing a little bit of research into it. So many stuff. And I'm just thinking about other stuff. I'm thinking about the part when they went to Orochimaru's hideout for other reasons. Sarai Sa Sa was trying to figure out was Sakura really her mom? It's just tons of stuff. Like Baruto fought Momoshiki. If y'all know, y'all know Momoshiki. Is Momoshiki is the one from the seventh movie when Baruto and Hiyanta finally became a thing officially, and he was on the moon. Crazy stuff. That's the case. But overall, I'm just going. I'm gonna just. Yeah, I might put a timestamp in the description too. So. Naruto, Naruto, Next Generations. Um, it had a good start. Um, I would say after the the like the movie part, the movie portion when they did the movie story, it kind of calmed down for a while. Then it went up. Then it calmed down some. Then it might have went up a little bit. Then it calmed down some. Then it stayed kind of cool for a while. And then it started to warm up slightly. Then warm up slightly. And then we got to where we are now with the karma stuff. After the karma stuff happened with uh Jijin. What's his name? He's not Jijin, right? I've been like I've been like getting, getting confused with Dragon Ball. I think his name is Jijin. Uh the other Os, 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 Osuski. Uh then that well, that part was really hot. Then it calmed down. Then it was chill for a little moment. We got stuff with Hinata. I remember mean, that my number, not Hinata. Himawari and Kawaki had a little segment with each, a little storyline thing with each other. Sakura and Sasuke had a little uh, storyline thing. It's a manga for out for it too, by the way. I do read mangas. I was gonna get it, uh, but they did a little some stuff for that. Um, then kind of hit heat back up again. We seeing Cole. If y'all know who Cole is, then you just gotta watch figure out. But Cole, he's doing his little thing, trying to recruit, trying to get his limiters taken off. He's trying to get revenge because. Uh, the Os Osuski member, uh, Jigen, right? I believe it's, I'm gonna be saying this. Let me make sure his name is Jigen. I don't feel like I'm saying the name that's not from. Let me see. Name makes let me be sure. I kind of feel like I'm okay. No, I'm, I am right. His name is Jigen. That's him. That is him. And I'll, I'll bring a picture. This guy right here, Jigen. Hold on. There you go. His ass. He can shrink stuff. Uh, make stuff bigger, all that good stuff. So yeah, him. Um, what else I was getting to? What am I thinking? Is that? But yeah, that stuff happened with Jigen. Yeah, I, just, I actually just now I will now that I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm trying, I'm trying to quickly recap stuff. I just found out. I just it was like literally right in my face on my little note. I had like a note thing. I had this little note uh, thingy on my uh freaking notepad on my computer. Is this shit? Okay, not my, that's not. Let me see. Okay, not my. I'm trying to get myself confused. Um, but yeah, the stuff with Jigen happens, like I said, cool down, we got the stuff with him more and Kawaki, then we got the stuff with Cole trying to gather up some uh intel and new teammates to help because he you know he can't he can't beat uh Naruto by himself or uh Kawaki or Baruto. Um and then we got the final portions as it's happened when we resolved or kinda resolved for the moment which is uh we had some epic fights had some controversial things we get we thought well actually it did happen i'm spoiling this right now baruto had died but he was able to come back now we ain't not with the reanimation not with the reanimation cart i mean jusu but with something else you'll see if you watch the episode and uh we got to revisit to what we saw in the first episode of Baruto, which when we saw the older Kawaki fighting Baruto. Overall, the flow of the uh, series wasn't also good. There were some low points of, this, of the show. 
where I could see where people wasn't really rocking with it, but I stuck in there. I kept watching it. I'm going to support the anime. I'm going to watch it all the way through. Um, but it had its high points, and the high points was really good, especially the stuff with Jigen. Uh, of course, the Baruto movie stuff was good, really good action-wise. Um, the last part that we just wrapped up, that was really good. It probably some other parts, but I don't remember all the other parts. But overall, if I was to give the show a score, scale 1 to 10, I'm giving Baruto, Naruto Next Generations, a 7 out of 10. That's why I give it. That is like a... 7 is like an okay, or like a fine, or a good. It's not... It's not like fantastic or phenomenal, things of that nature. Honestly, Naruto, the Naruto is better, in my opinion, compared to this. But hey, it's in second generation, it's a sequel, they're trying to build some things up, got new cats, gotta get used to, all that good stuff. But pretty good job. Um I can't wait to see what happens. I can't wait to see how this plays out because Kawaki seemed to only care about protecting Lord Seven. So why? Why Kawaki? Why did you do that? And uh Yeah, we saw them scrapping at the end. We saw they ass scrapping at the end of the episode. And we just gotta wait. Wait and see what happens. And yeah, appreciate y'all tuning in. Be sure to thumbs up. You can leave your comments down below. I'm going to try to leave a timestamp in the comments down below for anyone who actually checked the comments or description. So I can kind of skip ahead to the point when I get right to my uh, stuff. With it. But like I said, that stream was pretty good. It had a uh, yeah, type of flow because sometimes it was a good flow and pace. And at times it wasn't so good. And I could see why people wasn't feeling like that. And I know why a lot of people ban the wagon or hop off and pop off, but I don't hop hop on and hop off. I stay on and I watch it all the way till the end. But anyways, I'm not ending nothing. We gonna play this. Y'all gonna listen. More anime reviews coming soon. The spring one, the spring animes is coming really soon. I already did be on that. Go check it out if you have it. I'm gonna do some more reviews. Eden Zero is back. What else is back? Eden Zero. I'm waiting for Goblin Slayer. I'm waiting for Fairy Tale to come back. But anyways, TK, TKRDS. Just tune in. Till next time.